hey, it's Vincent here. Um, I'm really sorry for not posting any videos lately for the past few weeks, I think. We just wanted the other guys to catch up with the other videos. So I just got home. I'm probably going to be able to post this video like a day late from the day that I'm supposed to post this. But okay. Um, all right. So this week's topic is passing. Passing means for me um, having this the people around you, like or basically strangers, having them perceive your gender identity accurately without having them give you like second looks or whatsoever. So yeah, um, I do have tips here written down. But first of all, I need you guys to know that you should have self-esteem for this one. I cannot teach you guys that. You have to learn that on your own, but don't worry. I'm sure you can learn that. These tips I will be giving you are not the only ways to pass, but these are the most common things that people from the place I'm from usually observe in a guy. So um, I'll start with physically. Now I'd like to start from head to toe. It usually helps if you don't brush your, you use a if you don't use a brush to like do your hair um you just like use your hands to do your hair it helps i don't know for some reason it does like it gives you a more um masculine hair thing i don't know yeah for me that is and also um i noticed that i pass best during the early weeks um after my haircut so I guess it helps if you really have to um, have your hair cut short, of course. <laughs> um, I usually have my hair haircut like every one month. So about the torso and the arms, um, it always helps if you bind, of course, and work out. Like for the torso, it helps if you like do push-ups because if you do push-ups, it tightens your skin and then like it kind of gives you like a more masculine chest for me. That's what I've observed. I don't know if it applies to you guys, but that's what I've observed. And um, for your arms, it helps if, if you lift weights because, yeah, just to gain more muscle mass. And um, so for the hips, uh, for me, it's always a bad idea to tuck in unless you're going to wear a suit over it. So... Um, yeah, don't tuck in because it it shows your hips actually, like you know, our curves. <laughs> um, also, wear your pants or shorts below your hips. Since I noticed that uh, biological ma males have a lower waistline, I don't know if this is true, but for some reason they look like they have a lower waistline than um, biological females. Also, uh, regarding lower than that part, packing always helps because especially when you're like 90% passing and then people give you a second look, when they're in doubt, they usually look at your crotch area um, to see if there's a bulge there or not, just to confirm. That's what I noticed. Some people do that. Um, all right. So I don't think feet or the, your shoes are really um important um so next is the voice my voice changes during different times of the day and different um days in the week so it helps if you have a low voice and anyway you can pack practice i'm sure as chase mentioned before or in the previous video you can practice actually like having a low voice um yeah it just takes practice and then um the attitude and the mannerisms. This is based on what I have heard from different people. So you usually pass if you don't try too hard. It has to be natural. Like it's not too obvious that it's on purpose, but you really know that we are doing it on purpose <laughs> subconsciously. I don't know. Um, so yeah, some people are really observant and especially when you walk and sway your shoulders, like some do it like some exa exaggerated so it's too much um also if you know any biological men it really helps if you hang with them and observe their uh, mannerisms or like how they act 
but I'm not saying like that's the only thing you do when you hang around them, okay? Um, lastly, for me, this is the most important thing. Um, this may sound crazy or like really, uh, really, really cliche, but then um, for me, it really starts in your mind. You have to find some way to detach yourself from the body that you were born with. And then, um, like, see it in your mind, you would really feel, feel it and then believe it and wholeheartedly that you are a boy and, or a guy or a man. Because if you do believe it hard enough, I think everything else follows. Like, you act like a man naturally. That's what I believe. So I hope these tips I have given are helpful to you guys. Stay tuned for our next videos. Bye-bye.